We're doing a blind tasting between the wines of France and New Jersey. A very, very structured blind tasting that leaves gives nobody a chance of having any bias one way or the other. You know, we are really putting, uh, you know, we're putting Jersey to the test today. Welcome to this blind tasting of France versus New Jersey. I made sure that the wines were comparable, like you know, they, to the point of actually totally geeked out. But you know, like making sure that the barrel programs are the same, making sure that you know that the. The region was fairly similar, making sure that, you know, the economic status of the wineries was similar, because that's what really matters. So I would say, all in all, they have a shot. They have a, the best shot they'll ever have. I always say, why not? I've never tasted the two side by side blind um, to say, you know, one has you know, greater quality than the other. If anybody who, who's been to Bordeaux, you look at the landscape, uh, you look at the soil, uh, you look at the you know, latitude and wa bodies of water that are nearby. It's actually it's not that far from South Jersey, to be honest. The difference is the amount of money. You know, the the investment in the infrastructure is a whole lot less than Bordeaux. Bordeaux's you know got you know uh, 700 years of fine wine making for the global market. Uh, so why not? Is what I always say. Why not? Why not New Jersey? I'm not sure that I will be able to tell the difference between French and New Jersey. Um, I'm actually really excited about what's going on in New Jersey wines right now. I think that um, we're at the stage where California was back in the 70s. I think it's a really, it's a breakout time for our wines. Which one comes from France? I don't know. We need to support these wineries. These are small farmers that are just trying to make a living. And, um, and I think the wines are really going somewhere. So let's find out what we have here. Well, they really. Does <laughs> <laughs> this Price Waterhouse do this for you? Easy. <laughs> 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 we can get them a fortune. I'm telling you. All right. For the first flight, uh, wine number one, the winner, was French. Second flight, wine number one, uh, was French again. However, wine. Number one, and the third flight was actually Almathea, Chateau Almathea from okay. New Jersey. Okay. You know, having one out of three is actually remarkably good. That's uh, you know, I mean, that's actually sure. remarkably good. They were competing against some significant producers. I'm actually a little surprised. I, I, actually, I think it's good. That's what we were saying. It, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, well, actually, different yeah. style.